go change the thinking here at all? I think it does, at least a little bit, because now urgency has to start setting in. You can't go out there and go three and out and run the risk of falling behind substantially, but you have to do it without pressing, because pressing, that'll lead you into bigger errors. On the move to his left. Looking left side, and he's got a man. Matt Stevenson. A couple of first downs right in succession, and this is an offense that can really use a good drive, and they're off to a fast start here. On first down, here's Breida. He's able to get six, a nice pickup down to the 21. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Allen, eluding the pressure right. And he wisely will throw that one away. Well, defensively, they haven't let him just sit in the pocket and get comfortable, and that's opposite a lot of game plans in today's NFL. Ordinarily, you're trying to keep the quarterback hemmed in. In this case, they brought the heat, and if he flushes out, they're fine with that, and they force another incompletion. The kick by Bass is good. And this is back down to a seven-point game. So the response to that touchdown on the other side to begin the third quarter. Look, just three points, but still a response nonetheless. You're exactly right about that, because I think you needed to answer back with something, even though it's not six. Just enough to send the message that says, hey, we're not going away. So after knocking through the field goal, here's Bass to kick it away. No run back here for Duvernay. Touch back out to the 25. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. Off the play fake, here's Jackson. And they take him down. The Bills get to him. Now, following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. Jackson from the shotgun. Complete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on. Third down. Well, as we get ready for third down, let's go back and recap here. The sack on the first play of this drive, that threw a wrench in what they were trying to accomplish because they were compelled to throw the ball on second down. A running play was not in the works. And that incompletion set up another passing down here on third and long. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. From the gun, Jackson. Got some room at the 30. Oh, he's got a little daylight. The 40. 20. And in for the Ravens touchdown. Marquise Brown, 82 yards. As the Ravens push further out in front. Tucker with the extra point. And the lead now up to 14. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. McKenzie now from his end zone. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. 
And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder. It puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. From the gun, it's Allen. And that will be incomplete. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage, and just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. The three straight incompletions, they don't care. That hasn't dissuaded them. They're going to go for it on four. And that'll be complete to Stevenson. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Throwing on first down is Allen. And this one is incomplete. This defense is continuing to contest every deep ball that is thrown downfield. And look, it doesn't matter whether you're playing man or zone. Eventually, that becomes man on man. And you've got to trust yourself and go up at that moment of truth and make a play on the football. And his throw is going to be incomplete. That was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, Defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them, and I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. A quick throw going to be caught by Diggs. Now another timeout called for by the offense. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. Going to give this one to Singletary. And he is into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Devin Singletary, a three-yard touchdown run. And the Bills are able to get a score back in the final stages of this third quarter. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And they will not have time to get another play in here time has run out on this third quarter. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Here's Bass now to send it away. Duvernay now going to bring it out. Oh, a dangerous return man showing it here. And they'll have very good starting field position as he's up just shy of the 40. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. Their lead back down to one score after the touchdown a moment ago. First down's a must on this drive as they start out here first and 10. And he'll go out of bounds, it appears, right at the 45. Another nice pickup through the air, and I think a lot of people might expect them to run the ball in this situation, Brandon, but with this lead, they're electing to throw the football. Swings, slants, quick outs, things that they consider safe. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. Now it's Jackson escaping the pressure right. And he's got his man, Marquise Brown. And he's got a first down as a tackle made at the Bills 33. Couldn't just sit on it here, could they? Had to throw the ball on third down. Got the big completion in the pickup. 
Fresh set of downs now. They've got to feel great. And defensively a backbreaker. On first and ten, it's Dobbins. And I think this defense knew what was coming as he is smothered behind the line. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Play action. It's Jackson. They'll roll him out right. And this is caught. It's Brown. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Raven football here as we welcome you back. They've got a first and 10 as they look to try and finish this one off. Now a first carry for their fullback. Down to the six-yard line on a pickup of six as he gets halfway to the goal line. This is where, you know, fourth quarter, you got the lead, you give it to the big guy. Defensively kind of sucks the will out of them, doesn't it? Because they don't want to tackle him right now this late in the game. Well, you say that with accusatory tones, <laughs> you know, but you're exactly right. I know it's not something we actually want to talk about, but as a defender, four quarters worth of trying to bring people down, four quarters worth of pounding, and now late in the game, here comes that big guy coming at you, and a lot of guys are... Oh, no, he lost the football! And the offense will get this one back. Boy, that could have been catastrophic at this late stage of the game, but they avoid disaster. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. This to make it a two-score. Oh, they get to the football. It's blocked. Now it's scooped up, and this is a live football. Accelerating, and off he goes. He's at the 40, the 20. I think that was great effort and great execution all the way around. They blocked the kick, and then they formed the, the line to make sure they can return it, and no penalties. What a great job. Yeah, almost took it in for six, and now they're in excellent position, first and goal. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he'll go backwards, losing yardage to the five. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Partner, you've got about 20 coaches on your payroll, but there's 60,000 of them in the stands. I don't think any of them like that play. And the later we go, it's starting to sound like 100,000 in here. The Bills are going to go ahead and use their final timeout as he'll stop it with 11 seconds remaining in the ball game. Here's Allen. And this ball is caught. It's a touchdown. And now in the final seconds, they're a PAT away from likely getting this thing to overtime. Obviously, the excitement level here is almost a fever pitch. Down one is tempting to go for two. <laughs> I say you go ahead and kick the extra point. You got the home crowd carried into overtime. I'm with you. I do see some fans are holding up two fingers. Easy now. Yeah, but they're not the ones who have to actually make that call, are they? to the touchdown pass to kick it away. Fielded right around the eight. And he's going to be taken down inside the 10 at about the eight yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. Look at the clock. Everyone knows the situation. Probably time here for one final play. And we know what that play is going to be. It's got to be some sort of Hail Mary throwing it towards the end zone and hoping someone can catch it or catch it off of a tip. Thinking back to 2015, didn't we see Green Bay pull that off yep, twice absolutely. in the season? Once in the regular season, once in the playoffs. So stranger things have happened. It'll be interesting to see what the defensive strategy is about who they put on the field to try and knock that ball away. 
Well, going into the final. Yeah.